we are back in Mass Effect 3 to recover the Rofin artifact, which is Chavik. It's Chavik, right? That's what we're getting. A new schoolmate. That's how I understand this. Hopefully it is. Otherwise, it's quite disappointing. We got our modded crew here. I'm gonna take Garrus in this bad boy armor and they are the uh, best looking armor. Even though oh, that's Garrus, damn it. Uh, the army looker. Army armor does look also nice. Except, yeah, bro. Right, right. Gotta take the arrow. I feel like that was necessary. No choice on that. Me. I don't have too much here. There. That's it's gonna do. Five points. I'm waiting for the shockwave. Three points. Concussive shot stasis. <sighs> I want to use Singularity anyways. Boom. Let's see what's up there. What's Eden there? Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Yeah, okay, those two are the best looking armors for them. Do you remember, Cappy? What a surprise. The eyes look so cool. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. We got him in the end. That we did. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime, but our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. And we're getting attacked already. Oh, I love the background music. <laughs> That's the best choice in that cutscene. And a graphic glitch of the chip on top. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. I also have a lot of armor mods. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move on to another. But you'd still remember. Huh? It does look like it's nice enough to actually try a different whoa reshape mod uh, does that happen again when i press that yeah no okay never mind we're not gonna switch reshades oh that's already a bad sign oh i want to see it again though huh oh, there it is there it is okay yep nope <laughs> uh. oh duh. Oh. Oh. oh, bear with me, bear with me, it's gonna be worth it. Holy oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, see, see people, see. It's definitely worth it. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up, uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No, dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. A bit, but at least you're catching on these days. <laughs> what a troll. Oh, it just works. It just works. It just works. Everything is okay. Nothing to worry about.
It's just music right now. And it's good. Pressing up there. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. It seems like it's a dead colony. To me. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Oh, let's explore my dig site here. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos? Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. I believe it was more like slavery. They had an empire that spanned the entire galaxy. It's unlikely they did that just by playing nice. Of course. They must have had an impressive military as well. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> <laughs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh, I need to come. There they are. Here's and me in pro squad uniforms. It's good. Yes, James, yes. <laughs> Fly, girl. Oh. Damn it. Come on. Come on, let me wing up charge. I'm pressing it the whole time here. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Lovely. Maybe not. Oh. Uh, nothing as fun as bouncing nemesis around. Manga charge, please. God damn it. All right. Let's get moving before more of them come back. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be the last time I will play Vanguard in the Mass Effect trilogy. Oh, God. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Oh. Ah. It's in Mass Effect 1, I shouldn't play Vanguard. Even though I'm curious as hell if that actually works uh, remotely. In Outriders, it worked so well. And I uh, could charge everything. A local map would be nice here. No, okay, I can get up here. Is that the way forward then? Probably. Yep, my far range weaponry will help me a lot here. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, 
I need a turret. Oh, there it is. No, no, please don't Vanguard charge, no. Damn it, that was poor. Damn it. Can I please jump down? Oh. I saw Gary's glitch. Jesus, please. Didn't even activate my fire armor. There, that lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Oh, I need health return. And more money. And a better Wenger charge. I could have sworn my wanker charge. Oh no. Was better ones. Gun down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going Make sure the people die who did this combat we engineer needs to die, except Did she land up here? No, oh, there's already a turret up here. That's my life. <sighs> God, the combat engineers need to die ASAP. Every single one of them ASAP. Damn it, that's why. Break it. Bang up charged, you fool. I'm mashing the button. Oh, not again. Stupid. Jesus. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Oh. The turrets. Way too scary. I need a long range gun with me. Okay, there are two laps, so. To speak. Oh, my eyes turning blue again. Green, I mean. Those aren't Among Us Reapers. The hell is this? Oh, yeah. I never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. 
Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. Oh. It's like the Roman Empire. Brofins. That's what it is. Cool. They built themselves a goddamn Roman Empire out of slavery. Black Jack and Hawkers. <laughs> Something like that. I like the Roman Empire. And the Greek mythology. Just cool, cool stories. Especially mythology wise. Oh. But there aren't too many good movies. Do I need to hold that? If that's the way forward, I don't think I've been in here. Oh, more dead people. Do I have been in here? Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Okay. And you are money. I like money. Everybody likes money. And it's good. Oh god. Oh. I guess I will probably end up editing other Among Us Reapers maybe. Oh, I'm not even sure about that myself. And reinstall the Uvo Reapers. <laughs> That's the upgrade, yep. Oh, I'm just gonna leave the Among Us Reapers, maybe. Ah, maybe. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Understood that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. More Cerberus. Oh. Here. Nah, for that singularity in there. Right now. Perfect. Was the engineer? They're an engineer. Oh no, you don't. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. That already cost me my life. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, he threw a martyrdom grenade. Oh. No. You bastards. Look how much life that cost me. Oh. You bastard. Let me charge up there. No, I Got them turrets. I won't reach that. <laughs> That's the easy. The difficulty is not too easy at all in the end. Those engineers fly. Oh boy. And also shoot around corners. Damn you. Oh. <laughs> Where's that last dude? Hiding somewhere. It's not an engineer, at least. I must pull, not throw. I don't need. I don't need pull. Good. Let's bring him to life. What part of someone just sticks out this pick up? We have to find another way across. Uh, to my left or to my right. Really? This way? Nah, it's just... It's not the mission mark marker. That's probably through to the left up here. God damn it. Be a way through here. It seems like it beats over. That's where I activated the console. Up here, through here. I mean, I could just jump this. No? Okay. Never mind. So. Not through here, apparently. That's where the props are. I mean, no, damn it. I see the ladder. I thought I'm gonna go through that building up top. But yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda will also be replayed in English once I'm through with this franchise in my weird load order or if i'm just gonna start again from mass effect 1 and then go through mass effect 2 again with bad suicide mission curse everyone and now i'm gonna carry over the load, load save fall just have ed liara Jaybuck and James. Jaybuck and James. Jaybuck. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Oh no. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Oh, good. Good. Oh, that wasn't even singularity. No, there's an engineer somewhere here. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh 
do your job and spawn camp time to death god i brought the wrong weapon ray I don't know how to spawn camp. We're next. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. I get it. Because there will be more coming. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. <clears throat> I saw a supply yes. cache in the building next door, if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. I can't jump down like that, like a badass. My half is so low. Heavy mech, don't let it get close! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Behind us too. Yes, perfect. Danced in the air. What is that bad boy? Perfect guns. Perfect guns for the job. Oh, okay. It didn't even hit me. Actually. Life pod now. Oh, 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 I hope my med kits can recharge to the mission. Was that stop difficult? Those turrets are deadly. There, you've got it. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. We should have opened it on our ship. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now.
The bunker is secure. Commander Traffic. What is left of it? A few hundred people. How am I to rebuild an empire from that? Further adjustments may be necessary. The neutron purge compromised the facility. Clarify. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. You'll remain in stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker. This may lead to a power shortage. Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Power needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. Oh, that must suck. Stay session. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Well, that must suck, but that would be a cool as hell movie. That sets up this movie. Oh, well, your race dies and you're the last one and you try to save 5,000 and in the end it's just you that survives in those life pods. Oh, yeah, it, that definitely was a failure, I guess. Could have fought. Those 5,000 could have fought. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got... Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. What would Cerberus do with this dude? Just cut him open and... Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. Experiment on him. Experiment on him. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. We've never met one before. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. And what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? 
Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Yeah. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? I do not believe you, Commander. Lying is a biological marker. There is doubt behind your words. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No, it contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. <We're> <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, this is gonna be a long talk. Oh. Oh, I never had played with him in the, when the game came out because uh, it was a DSC, which was EA scammy at best. Oh, but yeah, let's talk through all of that. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. They, are, they have some, si some kind of vocal filter. A voice filter to make the voice more raspberry, more vocal fry. I hear that in a lot of characters. I don't know quite what it is. Maybe an EQ setting or so. Maybe a rework, but it sounds so good. You can really hear the vocal fry come out a little bit better. Vocal fry. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, 
Whatever they were doing was secret. Yes. Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the record so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. Nope. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Oh, interesting to find a female Brophin. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, mm -hmm. but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Oh, <laughs> yeah, cooperate, right, yep. Mm -hmm. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen. And we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us. And the Reapers discovered our plan. Oh. Just like we have Cerberus around. Just like with Cerberus. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank oh. you. I think. Oh, God. They could do a Mass Effect franchise with Prophians only. Going through the goddamn civilizations and, you know, friendly and peacefully telling them to join them. A Brophian Mass Effect, Mass Effect Brophians 1, 2, and 3, or something like that. Brophian franchise, that would be cool as hell. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm <laughs> sorry. A studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. <laughs> Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. 
the Metacon War. We were turning the tide until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. That story is so cool. You could do such a cool TV show, movie, or even games with that. I mean, you don't need humans and everything. Oh, what was that? Just one more thing. Yeah. Damn it. There's so many things in mind. But damn, this is franchise potential. Oh. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. Now I remember what I wanted to say. The Asari has something similar to slavery in their own cycle. Their own goddamn religion. What about this room? There's more grunt in here. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Oh, sadly. That's all we can talk about and there's no music. The music would have been perfect. It would, would have been kept on going. Ah. No. Uh, Shepard has a... Uh, look. Too much info. Too much info. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> oh. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wanna get them scammed that they made his character not part of the base game. Bardic rifle. Oh yeah. Who needs shotguns? No. They not me. Okay. Spaceship music. And a few more talks. Where's my music? There. And it fixes it clips slightly into the start to start slightly clips. I got new weapons here. Be gone. Let's go. Particle rifle only. Whatever I can put on that. Oh that recharge rate ain't good. The gun is good. I'm gonna switch up guns as much as I can. Particle rifle. Oh, that's cheap. Purchase. One more. It's a half a gun anyways. And put that on squad mates too. The hell are you? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't show you that yet. You can actually go into shops right here on your ship. I don't know if that's part of the thing. I don't know what that does, but I'm buying it. Sounds useful for something. Which means you can buy stuff here. Weapons and armors. That's... Damn. 
store for the clinic and this one we can buy outfit like Batman's outfit oh which we're gonna buy and so many superhero outfits that's why I already were, was wearing the witch outfit oh come on you talk to me what the hell's up with Edie she's found a new home I guess a super hot sexy home you take her on a mission I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted so that's why I'm not taking you on missions okay let's ask one thing what's with you and the nicknames it's just my way of remembering people some people just don't match their names you know so I just give them a new one right I'll talk to you later you bet weirdly I played this game in German and I feel like his German voice acting is better than his English one. I like his German version way more. And that's a rare thing. Most people just... The original voice actor sounds so much better with most. Okay, let's talk to the crew. It is up on the... Cockpit. Up on the cockpit. Yep. Excellent sure. find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. You lie. Uh, okay, let's talk. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. No, we just need them to breed. And refill the galaxy. God, that would be cool if Mass Effect, the next Mass Effect game, would have Brophians. They found a way to actually, lore wise, get more of them. Just a few, just a few Brophian badasses, but no. It's gonna be weak and gimp and. Ah. Uh, full of humans again. Feel free to look around. Nothing to say. Nothing to play. All the characters will be gay. <laughs> oh, it rhymed, I needed to say it. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my time on the Normandy, Shepard. A talking Reaper, a talking plant, and now a real live talking Prothean. Hell of a thing, waking up to find everything you know is destroyed. But I imagine the chance to get some payback is consolation. Doubt you and I will ever get a second chance against the Reapers. Oh, you will like him. He's part of the bro squad now. What do you suppose the Prothean eats? What if it's boiled asari with a side of fried Turian? I don't know oh. about Liara, but I'm not taking that one for the team. <laughs> I'm sure Liara's up for it. If this war goes south, maybe we could freeze you for 50,000 years, Shepard. You could go from being merely famous to legendary. I mean, we have something similar with Andromeda, right? It's not like that ain't an option. So, who needs their ass kicked now? Ah, oh, Cerberus. The whole bunch. That looks like they are actually freezing pots. Okay, Edie. I'm actually gonna do a better job of talking to everybody after the missions. It's way more rewarding right now. You. Commander, Admiral Hackett is available in the war room on VidCom. Uh... For what it's worth. Our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. <laughs> you will be a good servant. Commander. <laughs> oh. I mean, a lot of the races here. Aliens are inspira inspired, inspiration. Inspired. Oh god, that pronunciation from different uh, religions and cultures. And the Roman goddamn Brophian culture is cool as hell. Yes, Shepard? You probably liked our new Brophian friend. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. 
The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. <laughs> uh, what? Sorry, did I just hear that? How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. We it's as if right. they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I feel like they just want to stare at you a little. And... Yeah. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. Ah, oh, the jokes. I look at Choka staring her direction. I don't know what he's staring at. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Yep, Jarvik is gonna kick you off the ship through the airlock. For sure. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies. Not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Ah, that's actually all. Carry that's on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. And you, Choka? So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Oh. Commander. Commander. Okay, okay. I need to figure out what to do next. Because I might go down the texture modding route already. Ah, I'm guessing I'm going to leave the Among Us Reapers in. They do I'm look quite good. Private terminal, Commander. Oh, can you just read them for me, please? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Let's see, let's see if there's anything to do at all. Saving, eh? That's not a bad idea. Escort! How far is that away? Holy hell, I don't even see it. Oh, thanks for spawning me on the other side. Hello, hello. Stop. Nope, that was a small stutter. Probably few reserves. Yep. Almost full. Kinda wanna go to Asgard. 
what I want. Make it back, probably. We got students. Oh god damn. Meet with diplomats. Oh god. That's the main story. Aria to Log, Dr. Bryson, that's something I wanna do. Oh boy. Citadel. There are some texture mods that I need to download, but let's go Citadel. I don't know if I have a texture mod at Miranda already. Aria to Log. That's the person I wanted to texture mod. Let's just see if Miranda is looking fine as always. And then we're gonna dock Alliance docks. That's where Miranda is at. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Uh, no, not yet. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. So do I run around in armor or is Batman in here? That's... That's not armor, so we can run around as Batman in here. Over here. Let's see if the hair are working. Enemy lines until the war is over. No. Yeah, the hair are working. Nice. Nice. Okay, the next episode. I need to texture mod the rest of the game. Good, good, good. Everything's working here. Okay. Oh, let's save it. Peace. Oh, in the meantime.